All right, if you do any uh, machining, um, you might be interested in some numbers. And a lot of times you can go to the machinery's handbook. This is a big, a big giant book. It's got everything in it. Um, there's a smaller book you can buy called The Black Book. I have a copy of it somewhere. I just couldn't find it for the video, but it, it's a nice little book. It's got, it's got, you know, a partial amount of information in it that's that's really good but sometimes even that might be a bit unruly to to work with um so there are these things that you can buy um i have one that's uh made by alvin and it is one of those uh cards that you move in and out and then there's windows that show information and you can put it on a particular size um like here, I put it on a quarter inch. Can you can you see? This is going to be really hard to film this. But you put on a quarter inch, and it tells you how many threads per inch is for fine and coarse, and what's your tap size and your drill size, and all that kind of stuff. It shows you dimensions for popular uh, head sizes and things, uh, even some rivet information, shoulder, uh, what size hole to drill for spring pins and stuff. Uh, here's for miniature. Uh, just room to have a wrench go in and stuff like that. This even has a little uh, slide roll at the bottom, C C and D scales, the slide roll at the bottom. But anyway, I've had this for a long time, but this is English only, uh, so no, no metric. Um, a company reached out and said that they make these, and would I want one? I said, yeah, sure. Um, and this is made by a company called uh, EngineeringSlideChart.com. Now, it was a nice lady. She says it's just her and her husband. They're a two-person, a two-person company, and uh, they make these things. Uh, and so it's much, much bigger, uh, but it has both metric and imperial all on the same page. So that's that's really nice. That'll be good for me because uh, I'm I'm missing this part. Um, this is basically identical to the other chart that I had, but this one, like I said, includes all metric. And then this one back has a lot of extra stuff in it. My other one didn't. Um, so it has like pipe sizes, uh, pipe threads, uh, taper threads, British Standard. It has just some formulas and stuff to use. Bend radius for sheet metal, durometer. Uh, so these are just kind of uh, hardness scale correction. I mean, uh, translations, right? So if you have a Rockwell number and you want a, a Brunel number, how to translate the two, you can slide the slide the thing back and forth. And some uh, here's some formulas for beam deflection and things. And here's the standard chart for fractions and uh, for tra fractions, uh, decimals, millimeters, things like that. That's always handy. Um, this chart I find uh, a bit dubious. Uh, it's my understanding that sheet metal gauge and wire gauges can vary. Um, there's different standards. Uh, I think sheet metal is pretty standardized, but the wire sizes can change depending on what they are. So having one uh, tablet t uh, table that does them both, I think isn't quite right, um, but uh, I'd have to look into that. Uh, here's some things for amps, um, converting uh, amps into watts and stuff, and uh, three-phase balanced loads. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, thermoplastic properties. Oh, that's kind of a nice little chart. Uh, what ABS is good for tensile strength, excellent for impact strength, good for an insulator. Yeah, and then... Uh, so this might be good for like if you're 3D printing, choosing which uh, which plastic to use. Uh, some formulas and statistics. Yeah, it's just it's just a nice chart. I think it's about thirty bucks. And uh, once again, great innovations. www.engineeringslidechart.com. Also available as an app. Uh, so check that out. Anyway, looks like fun.